Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Ant Outlook with a Slack. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Microsoft Outlook or log in to the existing account. And once we are here, uh, we'll discover the fact that we won't be able to make this integration straight through Microsoft Outlook. So we have to use a third party app. I chose uh, automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we are here, we want to go to the top corner of our screen, click on integrations and go to the bottom left part and see all categories. As, we, as you can see, you can pick from 200 and more apps, but we want to start with Microsoft Outlook. And on the opposite side, we have to go with a Slack like this. Automate.io already providing some popular integrations that you can uh, choose from, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are actually looking for, keep scrolling down and you can create your own integration here. Just remember, underneath uh, the triggers on the left side, you want to start with Microsoft Outlook. So you have to pick from five of those, five of those options, but let's go with the first one. And on the opposite side, you have to go with the Slack. So there are five options as well to choose from. Let's stick with the first one. All we have to do now is to hit try it now button and uh, we'll get redirected to log in to uh, automate.eo account and we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also uh, use zapier.com. As you can see, uh, once we create ourselves an account, we want to go to the top left corner of our screen and click make as a button. Also at top left corner, we can name our Zap like Outlook to Slack, for example. And we want to proceed to the integration. Uh, we want to start with a trigger the same way as we did at Automate. So uh, let's go and write it down. Outlook, trigger event. As I said, let's go with the first one, continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created on uh, Outlook. We hit continue and now we can test the trigger. On the uh, second action, uh, let's go and write down Slack like this. Action event, let's go and choose from those. But as you probably thought, yeah, I'm going with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to uh log in to our slack account and that's about it so thanks for watching and see you on the next video